In this video, I'll show you a couple different ways of handling pots of seedlings that are kind of crowded like these. So the first question I ask myself is, how many of these do I want? I mean, here's a pot of primulas, and there's got to be a hundred seedlings in there. How many of those do I really want? Most gardeners would be happy with three or four. And in fact, when I'm growing a new variety of plant, four is enough for me. Out of those four, one might die in the process over the next couple of years, and the other three will go into my garden, and that's lots for me. If you're running a nursery, you might need more plants. So these two here, there's some new species, a new potentilla, a dwarf potentilla, and a campanula. And I only want a couple of these, maybe a few extras for friends, but that's all. I want a small number of these. On the other hand, this is a primula, and I'd like to have as many of these as I can. I mean, two dozen plants is, would be lots, but I want to plant these out in my woods, and the more I have, the more places I can fill. It's quite a big space. So in this case, I'd want more plants out of here. This plant over here is a clematis seedlings. And although there's lots of plant material here, there are not that many seedlings. There's maybe six seedlings in here. But a lot of top growth that's getting very congested. And I'll show you how to deal with that too. Now, if you want to keep a lot of your seedlings, the best way is, is to dump this out and take each one of these and pot them up in a separate pot. They're at a point now where the leaves are getting quite yellow and they're not getting enough nitrogen and they need more space. They're fighting with each other for food. You can prick them out so you can simply take uh, some sort of little device and just pull them out and then plant each one up separately. But I find the easiest thing is to just dump the whole pot out on a table, separate it out, and then start planting. So you know how to do that. I'm not going to show you that. Another option is to come along and just simply pull out the ones you don't want. And if it's really congested, you, you can't do this one at a time. So I come along and I'll just pull a bunch. So now I've gotten rid of some of them. I probably still have way too many, but I'll leave this for a week or two and let these grow a little better, and then I have a better view of what I have. Some of these might die because I pulled on them and they're still in here. In a week or two, I'll come by and do that process again. The other way to do this is to simply use some small scissors. And again, there's too many to do each individual one and be really neat about it. So I just kind of reach in here and cut a bunch. Most of these seedlings, if you cut the tops off, the roots will just die. There's a nice big one here. I'll try not to cut it. Now the problem with this method is that all your cuttings are still in here. And that's okay. Over the next couple of days, those will brown off and shrivel up. And you come back in two weeks and have another look. If it's still too crowded, do it again. So that's how I handle my seedlings. Now this is a bit different in that I don't have too many seedlings. I probably keep all of these. This is a clematis called Sweet Summer Love which is an autumn clematis, but it has a red color on it. And I want to see what kind of variation in colors I'll get. So I'll, I'd like to plant as many of these as I can. And then once I get the first flowering, I'll decide which one has the best color of flower or the best size of flower. And I'll keep one or two for the garden and the others I'll give to friends. But this becoming a real tangled mess. And so what I do with these is I come along and we just give them a haircut here. Get rid of that. Now that's good for clematis and good for many uh, uh, perennials. These will now make side shoots and become bushier. 
And for clematis, that's really what you want. I want to have many growths. I don't want one long vine growing. I want to have three coming out of the same crown of the plant. And by cutting them off, you tend to get more branching and more growth from the root system. So again, I'll leave this for a couple of weeks and then we'll see how it's doing. Probably wait three weeks and then I'll get another haircut. These are still inside at this point, but it's almost getting warm enough that they, they can start going outside. As soon as I can get them outside, I'll repot all of these because they're getting really too crowded for these pots. I don't repot them inside because I just don't have enough space for them. If you're interested in growing things from seeds, I have lots of other videos. My most popular one is probably the one about growing seeds in baggies, but I also show you how to soak seeds and how to scarify them. And at the end of this video, I'll put in a link to a whole bunch of my seed starting videos. Thank you very much for watching.